Hello children, good morning. Today we are going to deal with class 10, unit 6, biodiversity. In that C reading, a tale of three villagers. In that three villagers, we are going to deal with Boroba village, Ukraine. Children, let's know about pollution. Pollution is something introduced into the environment that is dirty, unclean or has a harmful effect. Toxic waste dumped into the water is an example of pollution. The contamination of air, water, environment, sound and soil. Our Orba village was affected by radioactive dust. Children, we will know the meanings of new words. First one, explosion means blowing. A part of something. Next, apron. A piece of clothing that covers the front part of your clothes and is tied around your waist. Next, Radioactive dust means the dust that comes out of a radioactive reaction. Source A raw or painful place on the body. Forcibly Using forcefully or strongly. Here in this picture, the soccer player kicked the ball forcefully. Evacuated. Remove from a place or danger. Barren Land not good enough for crops. Peered Look closely when we cannot see clearly. Children, let's move to our reading Oruba village, Ukraine, formerly USSR. Here, Natasha, who witnessed explosions of the Chernobyl, was giving information to the writer. She strongly remembered the date because it was her mother's birthday. It happened on April the 26th, 1986. I remember the date because it was my mother's birthday. We heard the explosion early in the morning. We did not worry because there had been explosions before from Chernobyl. But this one was bigger. Everyone stopped what they were doing and lizard. Then we ran out into the garden. We could see a cloud of white smoke coming from the nuclear reactor. Natasha Rivanko wiped her hands nervously on her apron. Tears came to the corners of her eyes 
and slide slowly down her pinched pale cheeks. It was a Saturday. She went on, still wiping her hands on her apron. It was a lovely warm day and the children played outside all weekend even when the dust began to fall. They still played outside. They picked up handfuls of it and threw it at each other laughing. It was Wednesday before the loudspeaker van came to the village telling us to keep our children indoors and not to touch the radioactive dust. They also told us to wash down our houses and roads with water. A week later the children began to vomit. Here it was Saturday. All the three children of Natasha were playing outside with a handful of radioactive dust. They threw among themselves. On Wednesday, loudspeaker van came to the village to announce that wash their houses and roads with water. Their hair fell out, they couldn't eat, they grew so thin and sores appeared all over their little bodies. Two weeks after that, all three died. All three on the same day. She broke down now and cried quietly. And she had done so many times before. They are buried over there. She pointed to the church graveyard. Lots of village children are and adults. Here, radioactive dust causes omits, hair fall. They couldn't eat. They grew so thin and so appeared all over their bodies, it may lead to death also. I touched her gently on the shoulder, leaving her to her bitter sweet memories and walked on through the silence. It was a ghost town. No one lived there anymore. They had either died or been forcibly evacuated. The fields were barren. Nothing grew. Nothing ever would again. There was no bird song. No rabbit peered at me. No cow endlessly chewed. No horse need. Natasha caught me up as we boarded the bus marked Moscow. Thank you for coming with me, she said. I wanted to see the graves and the house again before I die. Here in this picture shows how the people are affected in Oruba village. Children, I think you understood well. Children, now we will learn Answers for the following questions. 
First question, what measures should the government have taken when the nuclear reactor was installed beside the village? Answer, first one, first of all, government should not give permission to install nuclear reactor in nearby villages. Second point, set up emergency command systems. Our third point, set up facilities to handle specific serious accidents. Fourth point, government should have sent the people from that village by providing proper shelter in a safe place. Second question, what havoc can radioactive dust cause? Radioactive dust causes vomitings, hair fall, people grew thin and sores appeared all over their body. It leads to death. The fields will become barren. There will be no birds and animals. The affected villagers will never suitable to live. Third question. Pick out the words or expressions or images that describe the tragedy caused by the radioactive dust. Answer. The expressions that describe the tragedy caused by the radioactive dust are First one. A week later, children began to vomit. Their hair fell out. They could not eat. They grew so thin. And sores appeared all over their body. Second, it was a ghost town. No one lived there anymore. They had either died or been forcibly evacuated. The fields were barren. Nothing grew. Nothing ever would again. There was no bird song. No rabbit peered at me. No cow endlessly chewed. No horse need. Our fourth question is, what is the common theme that runs through the assorted narratives presented under the title, A Tale of Three Villages? Substantiate your answer with evidences from the three texts. Children, you may start like this. The common theme that runs through the assorted narratives presented under the title A Tale of Three Villages is human beings are intentionally and indiscriminately causing threat to nature due to their selfish motives. They are fulfilling their desire, cheating innocent and illiterate people. In Koko village, Nigeria, they gave money to the chief and caused threat to nature and its inhabitants. In Ponimanturi village, also humans caused threat to nature 
and the inhabitants by showing them some deal like men folk would get jobs and all the villagers would become rich in orabau village the situation is entirely different man cheated the innocent people by constructing nuclear reactor near a village and finally they made the entire village as a graveyard which was inhuman thank you for watching this is b lakshmi bhavani school student english children keep reading until the next video